Earlier this year, we gave this powerful demo live at a conference in Hong Kong. We showed up, placed a couple of these reference markers, you can think of them as road signs for AI, and then we filmed the venue with our normal phones and uploaded our video clips to the real world web where they were joined and processed and turned into a true 3D representation of that space entirely hosted on the client's own machines. We could then leave digital notes and points of interest in augmented reality so that humans could have AR guidance, but also it could provide guidance for visiting robots. We brought over this humanoid who had never been to this venue before, but because it could connect to the real world web, it could discover the client, authenticate and pay for access with a nanotransaction to the same augmented reality navigation that the humans were using. The real world web provides app and hardware agnostic access to physical space, both for drones and robots, but also for glasses and even phones. And all of these devices and apps can collaboratively edit the map and reward each other for doing so. And just like the internet is not one big cloud managed by one big company, the real world web is also a network of independent venues and operators that exchange data and compute resources with each other. That's how Aoki is making the physical world accessible to AI. The internet took all of our digital information and made that browsable and searchable to humans. The real world web makes the physical world browsable, searchable, and navigable to robots and AI.